and we picked up a lot of stuff because this isn't going to work. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and Adam and I just got back from a giant grocery haul at our local Meijer. So I just wanted to kind of go through everything I picked up and this is a lot of stuff so I'm gonna try to make it go fast but just to give you guys some ideas of what I like to buy for the week we haven't been grocery shopping like a big trip like this in a few weeks so we had to do some stocking up but I have a lot of meal ideas now so I feel prepped for the week so let's go ahead and get into everything I got but first if you like this video please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate it and let's go ahead and jump right in so starting out with the produce I picked up some romaine lettuce that I use mainly for lunch sandwiches and wraps then I picked up some sweet peppers and again I like to use those for just a bunch of different dinners and then on my wraps as well Adam always picks up a bag of these because he likes to pack like two of these in his lunch every single day I have these every once in a while for breakfast or lunch but He's more of the cutie halo eater. My cutie. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> and then I got some berries and I like to use these on my pancakes that I make. Or whenever I have yogurt, I like to put some fresh berries on top with some granola. That is like my favorite snack, especially after the gym. It's a good protein filled snack. Okay, then we got these last time and they were so good. So it's these mini potatoes. And what I do with these is I just throw them in the microwave for five minutes and then I throw them in the air fryer, spray them with some Pam, and then put some seasoning on them. And I air fry them for like 15 minutes, and they are so good. You have to be careful when you first eat them because they are like bursts of hot potato, but they are delicious. And then I always have to pick up some Honeycrisp apples and green bell peppers, and they only had orange bell peppers today, so that's what I went with. And I mainly just use the peppers for meals and wraps. Okay, so that is it for produce, so now I'm going to go into the meat. I find it that if I buy meat that is in the fridge that's going to go bad, I am so much more likely to actually make meals because I obviously don't want to waste it. So as opposed to buying my meat frozen, when I have it fresh in the fridge, it really forces me to make healthy meals. So that's just a little tip that I like to do. Anyway, I just got some chicken breast. I'm probably going to cook this up on the stove and then throw it in my KitchenAid, make it shredded chicken and use it for tacos. I think that's what we're doing this week. With my dinners, I don't make a meal plan. I That's not realistic for my lifestyle. We change what we want for dinner every night. Like it's up until like last minute we're deciding what we want to make. So it doesn't really make sense to like plan out meals. But when I go to the grocery store, I have in mind what I'm going to be making for the week. So like I'll pick like four or five meals that I know for sure we're going to be like making stir fry or chicken tacos so it just depends on what meat i buy i kind of plan a meal around it i love to get the 99 percent fat free ground turkey breast so i got two of these and i think i'm going to make stuffed peppers this week and then i also wanted to make turkey burgers so that's why i picked up two of these they'll be in the fridge so i'll have to make them before they go bad so that always helps and if i'm not going to be able to make them i can just easily throw them in the freezer that just keeps me on track with healthy meals but I also like to get some frozen chicken and that's more so for my lunches. So like the blackened chicken strips, I know you guys know, but I wasn't able to find those today. And usually Meyer's the place I could find them. So that was kind of upsetting, but I did get these. These are the black pepper herb chicken strips and these are at zero smart points. So these are very similar to the blackened. They're just not as spicy. So that's kind of good, but I like to just toss these in the air fryer and throw them on my wraps. This has become my favorite chicken for wraps. This is the grilled chicken nuggets, the Tyson brand. And again, these are zero smart points. So it's perfect to just toss a few in the air fryer. They're already like cut up little small pieces. So it's perfect to throw on my wraps and it's just so convenient and really makes it easier for me to have a healthy lunch every day. Love these. And these are kind of hard to find sometimes, but I picked up like three bags today because we found them. This has become one of my favorite chickens to have for dinner. And these are just the gluten-free breaded chicken breasts from Purdue. And I love these. I am I crave these all the time. And three tenders is five smart points. Usually I'll have four with dinner, so that's seven. That's usually seven smart points. And I love it in my Bolt House barbecue ranch. It is so good. And they're just like plain chicken tenders, but the breading on them is so different. I don't know, they're just so good. And although we just went to Trader Joe's and stocked up on our reduced guilt mac and cheese that we love, we also really like this lean cuisine, which is also eight smart points, the same as the Trader Joe's one. And this one is just like 
a little bit different. The sauce is different and I don't know, it's, it's just a different mac and cheese meal. We really like our mac and cheese. It's just something quick to grab in the freezer when we're having a busy night and we like to throw like some chicken tenders on it or some veggies. And yeah, these are really good for eight smart points. So I definitely like the Vermont white cheddar. Okay, so then for stuff in the fridge, I picked up some of these light and fit Greek vanilla yogurts and these scan as two smart points on the blue plan. And I just love to top these with different granola and different berries. They're just so good. And for two smart points, you get 12 grams of protein. So it is a pretty filling snack. And I didn't used to be a big fan of yogurt, but that was like the kind that already had the fruit in it. So I like that these are just like the plain vanilla and I can add my fruit myself. I usually have like one of these a day and they're just a really good snack that keeps me full. And I highly recommend the vanilla. And also the toasted coconut vanilla is really good. They didn't have any today, but very good snack. Then I had to pick up some Chobani and this is the non-fat plain Greek yogurt that we use for two ingredient dough or like chicken salad or tuna salad but I think I'm gonna use this whole container to make a big batch of two ingredient dough because we've been craving it so that's what this is for. Then the classic laughing cow always have to pick up some of these and today we just got the light one. These are one smart point on blue and these are my favorite to put on a wrap and I've been putting them with like a black bean dip and the combination of the Laughing Cow and the Black Bean Dip has been so good. I crave it every day. I have not gotten sick of it. So Laughing Cow, one more point. These are such a good snack. Okay, then I had to pick up more of this Parmesan cheese. And I just like to get grated Parmesan because... It's one smart point for one tablespoon, which actually ends up being a lot when you like sprinkle it over like a pasta dish or something, or it's two smart points for two tablespoons. So I just like to incorporate some cheese with the grated Parmesan because it's not as high point on the blue plan and it just adds a good flavor to like pasta dishes or sometimes I like to sprinkle it on roasted veggies. Then I had to stock up on wraps. And my favorite thing about Meyer is that Seriously, I'll make a trip to go to Meyer just to get these because they have the giant Extreme Wellness Wraps and these are two smart points each. And I definitely prefer these over just having two mini tortillas. I don't know why. I just like making one big burrito now. So there's only six that come in the pack. So we kind of go through them pretty fast. So I picked up two packs of these because there's only six in each pack and I have them pretty much every day for lunch because they're only two smart points and they make such a good air fried wrap. I love to air fry these. Okay, and as much as I love the Extreme Wellness Wraps, now that we found these Tomorrow Wraps, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with them. They're one smart point for one or three smart points for two. These taste the most like regular flour tortillas and I just really enjoy putting some like grilled chicken, peppers, and then just a little shredded cheese. These make really good snack wraps, like the McDonald's snack wraps. I like to do like some breaded chicken on it with a little ranch and lettuce. I don't know, I just really, I'm, I'm really happy we found these. These are also really good air fried, but for a low point wrap, they definitely satisfy that craving of like a regular flour tortilla. These are three smart points for the whole packet. So usually I just toss it in with the chicken and honestly, we don't really track these now that I think about it. <laughs> we don't usually track these. They're three smart points each, but just a really good taco seasoning to throw. It's so easy to just cook up some chicken on the stove, throw in a seasoning or even ground turkey or ground beef just to have a packet always on hand for tacos. And then we found this new soup and I've heard a lot of good things about Amy's, the organic soup. So we found the mushroom bisque with porcini and the whole can is four smart points. So that'll be a good lunch to have with a wrap on the side or something, but that's just something new we wanted to try. We always like different soups. Okay, then I also like to pick up these fat-free refried beans because these ones are zero smart points as well as I found these this time and they have refried black beans. So those should be pretty good. And these also came up as zero smart points and I get kind of scan happy in the aisle because I'm trying to find any zero point cans because so many beans and vegetables that are canned, they add like extra, like even like corn syrup and stuff like that. And that just adds points that you don't need. So I try to scan these and really find the cans of veggies that have zero smart points. So going along with that, I got some of this tomato sauce and again, this is organic and it came up as zero smart points, but like the other tomato sauces I was scanning there, they were not coming up as that. They were like, they're kind of high point for a can of tomato sauce, but I like to buy mine from Trader Joe's and they were out of it because the one they have at Trader Joe's is zero smart points. So I'm happy I found this. I was able to pick up two of these and these just work so well if you just add in some like garlic, even some Parmesan, oregano, any seasoning to kind of make your own tomato sauce. And I like to use that for my two ingredient dough or to dip things in. So it's just really nice to have a zero smart point sauce option. 
Then I found this, which I've never seen this before. And these are my favorite pickles, the famous Dave uh, signature spicy pickles. And now they have a relish. So I'm super excited about this because usually I like to just cut up the pickles and put them in my tuna salad. But with this, I can just take a tablespoon of relish and put it in. I don't know what it is about it. It is so good with tuna. And this is one smart point for one tablespoon. So I'll probably only use one tablespoon when I make a batch, but I'm so excited to try this. This stuff is so flavorful and it's got a good kick to it. So this will be really good in tuna. And I mean, on like hot dogs, turkey dogs, anything else I like to use it for, but mostly tuna. I was out of my barbecue sauce. I like to get the Sweet Baby Ray's original, uh, no sugar added. And they didn't have it this time. They had hickory. So we'll see how that is. I'm sure I'll still like it. I'm not really that picky when it comes to barbecue sauce. For two tablespoons, it's zero smart points on the blue plan. And for three, it's one smart point, which I don't usually use that much. So this again, I like to dip chicken in it and I like to make two ingredient dough barbecue flatbreads. Those are my all time favorite. So I'm excited to try this new flavor. We had to stock up on bonzo, which I've talked about bonzo before. We love it so much. I don't know I haven't really heard much about what other people think about it and if it tastes that much different to them, but to us, seriously, it is such a good pasta replacement. I know it's only one smart point less for a serving than regular pasta, but it's also a lot higher in fiber and protein, but also lower in carbs. So that's why it's just a healthier option. I know it's not much of a difference in smart points, but I just prefer to have chickpea pasta rather than regular because it does taste pretty much the same to us. So Kavatapi is probably our favorite. Rigatoni is really good. And then we actually tried this one last time. And I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it was really good. So we had to pick that up again because I want to make that same dish with this. It was very good, but always something good to have on hand. And we usually quarter the box unless we're feeling really hungry, then we'll just split it. Cause usually a serving's five to six smart points. Or if we split the box, it's like 10 smart points, which is pretty much what we use for a reduced fat mac and cheese or any like frozen mac and cheese meal so really it's not that much worse and like i said it's chickpeas so it's a little better so then this is another thing that's more so for adam but i do like to snack on them every once in a while but we like to get some sugar-free jello and these are zero smart points for a container and then we also like to get this sugar-free pudding and dulce de leche and then we found this new one is dark chocolate so we're really excited to try that and that would be really good with like whipped cream and raspberries on it that sounds good but these are really handy for him to just pack with his lunches and it's a nice sweet treat after he eats his lunch he'll just have a pudding and these are two smart points each for the pudding zero smart points for the jello i talked about the kashi go crunch that's like the honey almond i like to put on my yogurt but we tried this one recently and this is the peanut butter crunch this is so good on my yogurt as well especially i will put like blackberries or blueberries and it's like peanut butter and jelly yogurt i swear it tastes really good this peanut butter is really good usually when i put it in my yogurt i actually weigh it out and i usually weigh out just like a one smart point serving sometimes if i'm feeling extra hungry i'll do two smart point serving but usually one's enough on my yogurt because it's just like for a little crunch so highly recommend this really flavorful if you like peanut butter it's good i love these and we haven't found them in a long time so we literally got every flavor but it's the kodiak bear bites and we got them in the individual packs for chocolate and cinnamon and then we also just found like the regular box of the honey which the honey are my favorite the chocolate are his favorite and we both like the cinnamon they're all really good it definitely satisfies my craving for teddy grams and each bag has five grams of protein, which is a little better than having just some sugary snack. And for this box, it's four smart points for a serving, which it says is 15 crackers. Each of these bags are also portioned to be four smart point portions. So those are something also easy for him to take to work, easy for me to snack on when I want something that's kind of sweet. And yeah, I really recommend these. These are good. We always buy these when we go to the store, I swear, but we had to stock up on Fiber One bars, the soft baked bars. My favorite is probably the birthday or the chocolate chip, but we couldn't find it. And then Adam wanted to stock up on the mint. These are both each two smart points. So it's a really good snack to have, or honestly, I have them pretty much every day for breakfast with my coffee and a banana and they actually keep me pretty full. So I really like those. Haven't gotten sick of those from the beginning. That was something we started like the first week at WW and I've been eating them every day since. <laughs> this one is a snack for Adam. I'm not a fan of the salt vinegar, but he loves the salt vinegar. Any of these bold flavor almonds are so delicious. We like the wasabi soy and the habanero barbecue. That's his favorite. So again, it's a higher point snack, but nuts are higher point, but they're good for you. So it's worth it to incorporate. So he likes to snack on those a lot. 
I really like these and I've talked about them before the bada bean bada boom so I have the sriracha the barbecue and the sea salt in like mini packs but I want I saw this flavor nacho cheese and I wanted to try them so I'm excited about those because these are a good filling snack and they just have like a unique taste to them I don't know I really like them and I like that they're super crunchy so if you find these anywhere I highly recommend picking up a bag these are three smart points for one ounce yeah, I'm excited to try these. Good snack to have, something different. We'll see. And then, popcorners. We get these every time we go to the store, but today was a little different because I found the new flavor that we've been looking for. And I'm so excited because popcorners are really, they seriously are our favorite. The sweet chili, I eat all the freaking time and they are just delicious. The white cheddar are good, the kettle, every flavor. This, even the sea salt is like so good. I don't know. I don't know what it is about these things, but we are so excited to try the sour cream and onion because we just love popcorners. If you can find these, I highly recommend. If you're going to pick one snack to get, get popcorners. And we also got white cheddar. And then the last thing was just a little treat that I wanted to get myself because it was on sale Valentine's candy. And I told Adam he wasn't allowed to buy me any Valentine's candy. So he bought me trail mix instead, which is just as bad for me, but because I'm addicted. Anyway, I picked these up because they're dark chocolate sea salt caramels. Two smart points per caramel. And I don't know, I just wanted to treat myself to a little snack after dinner sometimes. So I love caramel and salted caramel especially. So I was excited to find these on sale and it was just a nice little treat. A lot of this stuff kind of gets a little repetitive because we really do stick to a lot of the same meals. Like I pretty much have wraps every single day for lunch. I just try to mix up the different things that I throw on them, but usually it's pretty much the same ingredients I'm buying. So. We're pretty much just stocking up on a lot of the same stuff, but at the same time, we like to find new products all the time. So I hope you guys found something helpful in this video, maybe some new snack or food ideas to pick up at the grocery store. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks!